Well guys, this is my uh, Pakistani mulberry uh, ready to break bud any day soon, uh, which is a bit early for, um, considering we're still uh, in March. And um, as you can see here, I have this one in the ground. Um, what I want to do down here is basically do some sort of permaculture type guild. So I have a uh, yarrow planted there. I have some confry planted there that's bucking 14. I might add a few other plants. Uh, uh, if I can get some suggestions, but um, yeah, I've decided to put this one in the ground for a couple of reasons. Uh, it was it been sitting in a pot for two years, and it was doing okay. Uh, it was basically pot bound or root bound, and uh, I, it was suffering every year. I was getting spider mites on it, and then there's also another insect that uh, also seems to make its presence felt, and that's this, and that's uh, a leaf roller. You can't really see them there, but the the leaf rollers they form these little webs in between the buds and they burrow into the buds and eat away and then they'll hatch out into moths. Um, now I've pulled a lot of them off now so it seems to be okay. Um, but yeah I put it in the ground because um, I think it, trees are going to be a lot more resistant and resilient to pest damage once they're in the ground. Um, also I don't have to worry about watering it and feeding it. Um, and I was also inspired by another YouTuber called, uh, well I think it's channel name is real life Rutopia, and he's based in australia and he has some of the king chatut mulberries uh, which are more or less the same as pakistani and uh, what he does is he prunes them back hard every year in fact he prunes them back twice a year because they're so vigorous um and that was one of the reasons i was reluctant to put it in the ground because i know that they can get really big i've seen them growing in florida and australia and they get huge uh, but they can be cut back really really uh, hard every year which is great um, now those two places, Florida and Australia, are much warmer than we are here, so you're probably not going to see the amount of uh, growth uh, in um, this tree in a year as you would in warmer places like Florida or Australia. But um, yeah, it's looking good. You can see the amount of buds on it this year. Uh, it's absolutely loaded. Uh, last year didn't have as many. Obviously, it's bigger this year, so. Uh, I did get some berries forming forming on it last year, but they fell off because of uh, spider mite damage. Uh, but there's so many on it now. I'm just I'm fingers crossed that they will uh, they'll form for me. Um, as I said, it's still pretty early in the season uh, and buds are breaking. So what I've done is I've purchased purchased a, a plant fle a fleece a tree fleece or whatever you want to call them, just in case we have a cold spell and I need to cover it. But. Uh, it seems to be handling the cold pretty well. It was like this about the same stage last year and it didn't get any cold damage. And we did have a few uh, uh, cold spells in May and it didn't affect it at all. But um, yeah, here she is looking great and uh, I'll definitely keep you posted as she grows. Take it easy.